This is a big rivalry game for us uh, and them also. I mean, it's their homecoming. And uh, we coming in today just to have fun. I mean, that's what it's all about. And just play hard to, to see who comes on top. This is a huge game today. You know, it's an in-state rivalry. You know, they're about 45 minutes away or so. You know, it's our first home game. You know, we've been away for three games straight. And it's open in our conference play. Homecoming, you know, you got to love it in front of your friends and family. So we all pumped up about this game. Coming up, Connecticut antagonists Sacred Heart and CCSU stoke their heated rivalry as they get together for another Gridiron Showdown next. So Dale Fink has another opportunity for the Pioneers. Here come the Blue Devils on the blitz. So they hand it off on the draw to Marcel Archer. Has plenty of room around the right side to the 25, to the 30, and spilled out near the 35. So second and goal from the 26. Fink back to throw. There's that circle screen again for Gary Coles. Breaks a tackle, breaks another, and he will go into the end zone for a touchdown. Gary Coles goes 26 yards, and the Pioneers jump on top, six to nothing. Eight of eight passes for 135 yards, but Walker gets the call here. The give is to Brian Fowler, and he turns the right corner, finds a hole, and races all the way down to the 27-yard line for a 20-yard pickup. Today, Dave had a chance to talk to both coaches to ask them about their number one key to the game. For us, we, we have to hold on to the ball. We've turned over the first three games of the year, and uh, given the other team's offense, great field position, and, and uh, we haven't created enough turnovers ourselves. So uh, I, I think if we can win the turnover battle and, and make them traverse long fields, we'll be in good shape. Gary Coles, very good returner, very good on offense. Coach Gorms does a great job of getting him the ball. Very good athlete, got to stop him. Well, so far, Central hasn't stopped Coles. He caught a 26-yard touchdown pass. Four-man rush for the Blue Devils. Good pressure. Wide open is Chris Rock. And the tight end is going to come up with a 20-yard pass play. Back to throw goes Wonkin. Over the middle. This time it's complete. Out to the 35-yard line. Esco is wide right. The Blue Devils show blitz. Here they come. Up the middle. No room at all for Archer, so he takes it around the left corner and has himself a Pioneer's first down after a pickup of nearly 13. High snap for Fink on third and 10, getting pressured, and he is sacked. 96, Ray Saunders was the first one there. He got some help from Nate Pagan, who puts in free safety, and that is our first Blue Devils sack of the day. They will show blitz. Norris bobbles the snap in the pocket, fires over the middle. It is complete to Rob Fisher. And a Blue Devils first down. You have to like what they call, don't you, Dave? Four seconds. This time it is a running play. It is Marcel Archer around the right side. To the weak side of that defense, the blitz was coming the other way. Fink opted out, and it's another Pioneers first down. Fink will wing this one toward the goal line. Obviously, it's a dime package for the Blue Devils. They'll play the deep center field. Fink unloads to the end zone and is gone for a touchdown. The Pioneers come up with a Hail Mary score. It goes to Steve Tedesco. It's a 34-yard touchdown, and Sacred Heart takes a 12 to nothing lead. One more look at the Hail Mary from Dale Fink. Ball just made it to the goal line, deflected, and right into the hands of Tedesco. Looked like L London Lomax touched the ball for Central Connecticut, couldn't bat it down, and it went right into Tedesco's breadbasket. Stacked the six-man front. Actually, it's a seven-man front. They'll drop one of them out. Here comes the blitz. Mallory breaks it around the right side, has a seat, cuts it back to the Pioneers. 40-yard line for a 15-yard burst. A shifting formation to go to the power eye. It will go to Mallory. Spins and is into the end zone for a touchdown. And Central has cut the lead to 12-6 with 7-10 to go in the third quarter. Call it third and a very long three. Here comes the blitz again. Over the middle, deflected, and it is intercepted. Lorenzo Baker back the other way to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, 5, touchdown. And Central takes a 13-12 lead. And there is a late penalty marker on the play. 
It is back near the Pioneers 45 yard line. Holding on the Blue Devils. Now, is it a post possession foul? Has to be. That was well away from the play. Coach Jeff McInerney is very upset. He comes out onto the field to talk to one of the officials. And I believe it is going to be nullifying that touchdown. And of course, John Cordo is perhaps one of the most famous Sacred Heart football alums. He's now playing for the Buffalo Bills. He was an all NEC first team linebacker for the Pioneers during the 2006 season. Gained about 25 pounds this year for Buffalo as they now got him playing some linebacker. Last year he was playing some safety and on special teams. You see some other players in the National Football League this season. Obviously everybody knows about the Dallas Cowboys' Miles Austin. Hank Fraley's been around forever it seems. And how about John Albone this year? Fifth round pick of the Miami Dolphins. NEC football all the way up. Well that's a great sign for the league. Of course the automatic bid next year in the uh, FCS playoffs and now getting players into the pros big step first and ten for the Blue Devils from their own 15 Aubrey Norris now at quarterback hands off and breaking it into the secondary is Brian Fowler will he go he'll be caught from behind inside the Sacred Heart 30 yard line by Titus McIntosh is left Izzo has range from 37 And it is good. So with 12 seconds left in the third quarter, Central adds a three spot, and Sacred Heart's lead has been cut to 12-10. Pioneers show blitz here. They come, barely getting it away to Marley, who loses a tackle, turns the corner, down the 20, stutter step, cuts it back to the 15, down to the 10, fumbles the football, and the Pioneers have recovered. Titus McIntosh with a huge play for Sacred Heart. Fink out of the gun. It's a four-man rush. Deep in his own end zone. Fink unloads. He looks and has his man, Mark Wano, for a first down. A play that was nullified two snaps ago by an offensive hold comes back and bites the Blue Devils. One to Cole Giovanni near midfield. It's a low snap. Friedman has trouble with it, and he is spilled. Central Connecticut State virtually comes up with a turnover, and that is James Mallory on special teams. First down and goal from the Pioneers' 10. Wonk it at quarterback. Mallory up the middle, powers his way through, and in the end zone for a touchdown. Mallory cowering two Pioneers defenders as he broke the plane to the goal line. And the 10-yard score gives Central Connecticut a 16-12 lead for Mallory, his second rushing touchdown of the day and seventh on the season. Third and about two. Think back to pass. Looks, he's got a man to the right side. Complete to Rich Rossi. Down near the 17. And he's hammered out of bounds by Jeff Marino. It is a pioneer first down with 421 to play. Again with Coles the lone setback. Back to throw Fink. He loops it for Coles down the right sideline. A juggling play and he can't hold on. Third and goal from the six. Back to throw goes Fink. Getting pressured. On goes to the right side. This is going to be intercepted. And the Blue Devils will come back the other way. That is Dorsey to the 40. To midfield. He will go all the way for a central Connecticut touchdown. It is a one. Top 23 to 12. Kept him in bounds. Under two minutes to play. Think back to throw this time. He goes for Patterson. A juggling catch down inside the 26 yard line. Coverage by London Lomax. Great play by Tony Patterson, just laying out and landing on the football, holding on. There's the end of the play. Launching it over Dorsey's head. The juggling catch. Fourth and 20. Fink out of the gun. Again, a four-man rush, and here's the pressure by Danny Rodriguez. They chase Fink all the way back into Sacred Heart territory, and Ray Saunders lowers the boom. 